Hello dear ones, it's, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I have a tip that I just found out from a conversation on the astral plane just now. It has to do with how we can escape from our logical mind and from Claire Chatter, which Claire Chatter tends to, to roll around uh, in the fourth dimension on the basis of unconscious and repressed emotions and, and notions that, are, that uh, impede the functioning of the heart. And you know, the, the, because the heart is horrified by all of the things that are repressed by society, you know, all of the things that, that are um, contrary to the notions of love and light and so forth. So, um, so the question is how to, it, what we were all discussing, is how to, how to get past that. And it occurred to me that the, that something that Peggy Black told me during a conversation yesterday, um, a teleconference call that she made, uh, held the key, and that was something that I had practiced today right while I was walking. I had been bothered, when I start to get tired in the afternoon, I'm bothered by Clara Chatter that has a tendency to to um, to head off in the direction that I'm not, I'm not eager for it to head off in. And it has to do with like the calling of my cells. The, my cells uh, don't feel joy when they're very tired and when they're stressed by a physical activity, they have that tendency too. So I tried uh, Peggy's technique, which she had told me about in a different context. Um, but I tried it for myself, and, and, and in that situation, it went something like this. Mm. I imagined, first I imagined that the other person at that time that I was talking to, I was hoping to end a conversation because it was getting into negative terrain. And so first I imagined that person surrounded by her, um, her, her Claire, um, her, sorry, her Celestial Ascension team. And I imagined them all around her, a great light all around her like that. And what I got was her objection to that. She was just going on about how she felt she was being controlled and so forth. And um, so obviously it seemed to me that was not the technique to use. So instead I tried what, what Peggy has talked about for years and years now. She's very enthusiastic about it. She says, imagine your celestial ascension team all around you. And so, and she also says she talks to them and like that. But the trouble that I have with that is that the people on the astral plane that, I, that I'm trying to avoid will scoop in and start to, pretending that they're my celestial ascension team. I, I know they're not because the emotional tenor is not of love and light and joy, you know, so I know that I've got the wrong crowd. So I avoid that. I modify Peggy's technique by imagining my celestial ascension team all around me in terms of light, not form, and, um, and love and joy. And, and, and if anyone talks to me, I just ignore them. So, so it came out, to, so this is a visualization that she does all day, every day. She just got used to it. And she seems to exist mostly in a state of great joy, and it's wonderful. And, and relatively unbothered by all the things that daunt me from in the afternoons and, and early evenings. So, so, so we were talking this over tonight. Uh, I, I, I took a nap and I woke up and, I, and I, I heard overheard some people talking on the astral plane. And it, it, the question they had was how to escape from the logical mind. For them, it was a logical mind issue, right? And uh, for me, it's more like... Um, it is kind of a, a, how to get off of a train of thought and or how to arise above the lower astral plane because you don't want to be involved with that kind of, you know, that kind of emotional tenor, you know. I mean, who would? <laughs> and, so, and so anyway, my thought was 
to switch from the left side of the brain to the right side of the brain, try this, try this visualization. And that's when it crystallized for me that the things that Peggy Black has been saying all these years, what they do is they jolt you out of the left side of the brain that worries and carries on and, and brings up the subconscious images and 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 deals with the the um, the the negative emotions because of our our trap of perception of time and space. Right? She visualizes all the time. Visual visualization is much more powerful than thinking. Uh, th I mean, than left brain thinking, logical thinking, because it involves. Uh, the the positive emotions. That's if, if you visualize something really beautiful or good, right? So it brings in the very strongest positive emotions, and it makes the thought form very powerful, much more powerful than whatever was going on in the in the left brain. So that's it. That's what I've got. And probably there are many other techniques for escaping from the trap of uh, what is um what is the name of that lady. Karen Dover, right? She calls it the human logical mind, right? <laughs> the human logical mind. <laughs> and here you have the greater world of the higher astral plane, right? The visualization, the positive visualization, which will bring us eventually into that co-creative ability. So my thanks to the people that were talking to me tonight and for jogging my memory about what happened this afternoon and how I escaped from a negative train of thought and a negative emotions through positive visualization. And my thanks to, to Peggy Black, who all these years has been saying these things, and just now it, it, it came to me that, that this is true, that this is the, yeah, it just, and, and also it came to me that, that, that typically this, this function uh, there are very few people that have this function of visualization um, in the modern scientific materialistic world. You know, we have to work at it, but but it's not that hard. You know, we can do it right away. So, so that's my one tool for the toolkit of ascension. <laughs> Y'all have a wonderful day, and so gratefully yours. <laughs>